Didn't see, didn't see you there. Got a little carried away. Oh, that's cool. Um, welcome to One Cool Thing, um, where we show off all the coolest stuff from PC Mag Labs. I'm John Burek. This is not Alan Walker. This is Matthew Buzzy. Oh, okay. Well, I, had, I, had, I had you fooled. I know. Yeah. So what do we actually have here, Matt? This um, I heard this from all the way across the lab. <laughs> yeah. This is the uh, Asus uh, RG Zephyrus G14 Alan Walker edition. Um, if many of you probably do know Alan Walker, if, for those who don't, international hit DJ, music producer. Um, well known, got very popular from his uh, 2015 hit Faded, um, but has many other popular songs as well. Uh, and this is a collaboration project between Asus and Alan himself. He worked on the design of this laptop, and as you may have gathered from that uh, that little intro, this cool box that it comes in is actually part of the product. Hmm. Yeah, I noticed when we were unpacking this before that the laptop came in here, but you're also using it as a mixing console or a uh, sampling pad. Yeah, pretty unique thing. I think it's safe to say we've not really seen anything uh, quite like this before. <laughs> um, it plugs into the laptop uh, straight USB-C to USB-C. Um, there's a little you know, circuit board connecting the, the pads on the top, which is sort of a translucent, um, translucent lid with these pads, which play sound effects. Um, you can load in different songs, but it comes, it comes loaded with Alan Walker's Sorry as the, uh, the bass music here. You can, you can lower the frequency, you can lower the speed. And then all these different pads are different uh, sample sound effects, um, and there's a there's three sets of those. So you can cycle through, and uh, every one of these pads plays a different song. So when you get more used to it, you know which one's where, and you go to hit it, um, sampling something of being a DJ, making you feel like a, like Alan himself. Huh. Yeah, I mean, very atypical of any laptop we've ever seen here. So this is a Ryzen-based laptop, mm -hmm. um, which is actually derived from another Asus laptop, which is one of our favorites uh, from, when did we review it last, about a year ago? Yeah. Yeah, that was the, actually uh, have it here, it's the, um, G14 non-Allen Walker edition. And as you can see, pretty different. Um, we can also show off the laptop itself if I disconnect it for a moment here. Um, of course, the lid is very different. Uh, the interior is gone with an all black, sort of dark gray look instead of the silver. The special key colors uh, are a big part of it as well. Um, Alan collaborated with them, had some input on this design. Uh, his logo is on the A&W keys, which obviously are used for gaming. Pretty fitting for his initials. Um, yeah, and he went with this light blue sort of color. Um, and the lid, as you may have seen there, these are actually fabric. This one's sort of weaved into, woven into the, uh, the lid in and out, and this one's just, just straight across. So definitely a lot of design touches. It is otherwise a uh, very similar laptop. It's actually a little less powerful than the, than the uh, base model. This is, I think, a 3050 Ti. Um, yep. So they figured probably, probably rightly that people more concerned with the special edition design than maybe uh, getting top end power out of this. A little bit of a price premium for the, the limited edition, but um, yeah, otherwise the same laptop. We already know we like the laptop, right? This is, yep. this is a well-reviewed uh, portable Ryzen 9 based laptop with RTX graphics. So it's, it's good for sure, um, but I think people are more interested in the sort of special design than they are, the actual performance of this thing. The walkerness. Yes, the walkerness of it all. Yeah, so this actually is 1999, I believe, for mm -hmm. this SKU. It's a 3050 Ti with a Ryzen 9, but you don't only get the laptop and the mixing console, which yes. is known as the ROG Remix. Remix. Right, that is the, the name of the device. You also get some Walker gear. So, Matthew, would you like to um, model some of this? Oh, yeah, well, we got some socks. So, you know, I don't have those on, but you know, no one needs to see that. Uh, you can just look here at the, at the item that's packed in. And also a hat, of course, similarly. Um, so, for fans, this is obviously pretty exciting. You can get some free... Uh, some free stuff and an actual functional laptop um, sleeve carrying case. So, yeah, it's reflective. And I, I guess if you're biking at night with your with your laptop, strap it across your back. Yep. Things like that. There you go. Um, yeah. So this is pretty much the whole kit. Obviously, you get a little extra stuff and the very unique um, lid. But yeah, we can talk a little bit more about this. This does a visualizer when you're playing the music. I'll try to lower it slightly. When you hit the effects. Um, the visuals play across there. So these are sort of the different samples that come with it. And then there's different sets of samples. So you can swap between that. And you can kind of mix these up. So if you're a more talented DJ than myself, like Alan, I'm sure could really uh, do a lot of good work on this compared to me. But you could time the presses of the samples and um, you could make like a mix that sounds good. You could also, though it does come with Sorry as the song that's that's preloaded there, you can upload music files straight from your own desktop. So 
uh, a lot of mixing opportunities beyond just the one song that it comes with. Right. Yeah, it seemed like it was pretty forgiving, like almost like it was timing your samples presses to the next beat. Maybe you're not so, giving me enough credit. Yeah, well, oh, it could be that. Yeah, I mean, well, I don't know yeah, how long How long have you been messing with this, Matt? Like half an hour, so okay. yeah, not, not all that long. Um, but yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty cool. I mean, the the fact that the fact that a this is the case it comes in, and they actually turned it into something functional, um, and b that it kind of looks cool. It's translucent. It has I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but RGB that actually does sort of time to what the music is doing. Usually the lights change while the song's going on. Um, so yeah, it yeah, synchronizes it's, uh, I think with the Asus's Aura Sync. So if you have other Asus gear that supports that, you can completely you know um, set up your light show you know to be going from here to the laptop to peripherals mm -hmm. or maybe a monitor that supports it as well. So you can get your whole uh, RGB lighting situation together while you're working and/or mixing. Yes, that is that is that is the idea. The lid also um, again not sure. Hopefully we can show this to you on camera. Uh, the previous Zephyrus had an option, the, the previous G14 had an option with the lid. These perforations actually show um, LED lights through them and you can customize that and put a pattern. For this one, it did, yeah, it is working here, so I hope that comes through. The lights kind of pulse along with the, uh, the music. So, I mean, that's another cool addition. There's a lot of syncing, a lot of lighting, a lot of uh, customization options here. Um, and it's something to have fun with. I don't know how seriously people will take this as like, oh, I'm going to become a DJ using this pad. But you could definitely play music for fun. Right. Um, but I mean, they do sell, if you are a, you know, um, uh, electronic artist, mm -hmm. uh, pads similar to this on a professional level that you could use to trigger different samples mm -hmm. or beats or sequences. So, I mean, this is something if you sort of just wanted to mess around and, you know, casually do it and maybe see if you actually... Or an Alan Walker fan. Or an Alan Walker <laughs> fan. Yes, there is that. Um, you know, this could be, a, it's a nice little throw-in. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Cool overall. Um, yeah, I, I imagine someone would be able to do something fun with this. It is a novelty. You could say, oh, I own this limited edition thing. Again, if you're a big fan, that's obviously pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. So what we're going to do is going to take Matt into the studio, and he's going to give us an impromptu concert. So Matt, do you yeah. want to take that away? Yeah, I'm going to take this out of here. Um, we're going to uh, we're going to play it. We're going to I'm going to play you out, and we're going to uh, really this. You're going to hear this on Spotify. You're going to hear this on YouTube. The song's going to be trending everywhere. Um, my remix of Alan's song, obviously. I will step away. <laughs> Sorry, forgot. <laughs> 